The Korean Peninsula is full of photo opportunities. Some winning amateur photographers recently had their work recognized in a Korea-wide photography competition. As Army Sergeant Craig Rader reports, one winning photographer draws his inspiration from his travels around the country. The best military and civilian amateur photographers in Korea came out for an awards ceremony at the USAG Yongsan Arts and Crafts Center. The event, hosted by the Installation Management Command Morale Welfare and Recreation Office, showcased the winners of the 2007 Korea Region Photo Contest. For one budding photographer, learning from others was his key to success. I, uh, I take a lot of my inspiration from, from photography magazines and, uh, and actually uh, National Geographic books and, and magazines. You know, I've been reading them since I was a little kid, so I'm kinda, I, I kind of like to travel photography. Captain Gillespie took first place honors in both the experimental monochrome and monochromatic color categories. In all, Captain Gillespie was recognized for nine of his entries. Some of the quality, you see the, uh, one, one people win four, five, six different types. reason for that, we go by the picture, we don't go by the person. He may have been the big winner this year, but this is actually Captain Gillespie's first time entering his pictures in a contest like this. He gets photo ideas from trips he's taken, and he always travels with his camera. Most of the pictures I submitted, probably half of them were from uh, Lee when I went to China. And the other half of them were probably from a, from a four-day trip I took down to Kyangju and Pol Hong. Wherever inspiration comes from, the basics of photography stay the same. You've got to have a good image. You've got to know what you're shooting. That's the, the key. And with plenty of good images out there, aspiring photographers just need to get out and start shooting. Army Sergeant Craig Rader, Yongsan, Korea.